What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is NG Model September 2021 releases. Now, before we start uh, looking at these models, uh, I do know that this uh, video is a week late. I know a lot of you will say, why are you releasing this a week late? Well, uh, it's because I was in Europe and I didn't have uh, my recording set up. So now I'm back home from Europe and now I have uh, my uh, whole recording set up back. So yeah, this is why uh, this week is coming out. Uh, not this week, this video is coming out a week later uh, than it was supposed to. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So starting off at the top of the list, we have an ASL 757-200F. Now, um, I don't know why NG Models would make just such a blank model. Like, I understand that it has a registration on it, but other than that, it's a pretty much blank livery. So uh, I don't get why uh, NG Models would want to do this. Uh, but yeah, registration is uh, Oscar, Oscar, Tanger, Oscar? Oscar, Oscar, Tango, Tango, Charlie, uh, Tango Foxtrot, Charlie, actually, a scale 1 to 400, and it's 46.99. Uh, now, of course, I do not need this for Newark. Moving on down the line, we have a Copa Airlines 737800. Uh, this release has a lot of Copa Airlines models for some reason. Uh, now, I always thought of Copa as an airline that copies United. I mean, look at their livery. It looks pretty much like United's um, livery, which I can kind of see uh, why they do it. I mean, the resemblance, but nah. anywho, um, I don't need this for Newark. Copa used to fly to Newark from Panama City, but uh, they don't do that anymore. Uh, they don't uh, remotely do that anymore. They stopped, I believe, in 2018 when they transferred their service over to Newark. By the way, I apologize. That's my dog in the background. Anywho, uh, registration is Hotel Papa 1537 Charlie Mike Papa. It is scale 1 to 400, and it's 46.99. Moving on down the line, we have uh, two Copa Airlines 737-800s. The first one is a normal one with the registration Hotel Papa 1838 Charlie Mike Papa. Uh, it's 1 to 400, it's 46 99. And then the next one is also a 738 with split scimitars, but it's in the Connect Miles livery. I think this is Copa's uh, program for uh, their Miles program, uh, which is why I think it says ConnectMiles.com, but uh, yeah. Uh, of course, I don't need any of these models, but uh, registration is Hotel Papa 1849 Charlie Mike Papa. It's scale 1 to 400, and the price is $46.99. Moving on down the line, we have this American Airlines 737 800. This is in their Astrojet livery. Now, uh, this once again brings up that whole idea of like uh, NG models copying Gemini Jets or Gemini Jets copying NG models because uh, Gemini Jets released this model last in their August releases. Now, uh, NG Models is doing it, but, uh, yeah, I actually do want to get this model, uh, like I said in the Gemini Jets release video, I'll link that up above, I'll put a card there, but, um, actually, I, I, I think I'm gonna go for this one instead of, uh, uh, Gemini Jets, because Gemini Jets aren't exactly known for the 737-800 molds, so I think I'm gonna end up going for the AA Astra by NG rather than Gemini, but, uh, yeah, registration is November 905, November, November, or scale 1 to 400, and this is 46.99. Moving on down the line, we have two United 747 SPs. Uh, the first one is in their normal Saul Bass livery. Um, now, I don't need this. I I never will need it. I don't need it. I mean, I can see why retro collectors would want it, but I just personally don't need it. But uh, yeah, the first one is in the Saul Bass livery, normal Saul Bass livery. It is uh, registration November 140 Uniform Alpha and 140 UA. It's scale 1 to 457.99. And then the next United 747 SP, literally all it says is Friendship 1 versus the other one, which has basically nothing. So it's, it's the same Saul Bass aircraft, uh, it's different livery, and all it says is Friendship 1. But uh, yeah, um, this one's registration is November 147 Uniform Alpha. It is 1 to 400 scale, and it's 57.99. By the way, all the models in this release are 1 to 400 scale. Anyway. Uh, moving on down the line, we have this American Airlines 757-200 in their retro livery. Uh, now, of course, I don't need this for Newark, but this will be good for those of you who are retro collectors. Uh, this is probably going to do. Uh, this is probably going to sell really well because knowing uh, NG models and their chrome aircraft, they pretty much sell nicely. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, registration is November 679 Alpha November and 679 AN. It's scale one to 400, and the price is 46.99. Moving on down the line, we have two 757-200s. One is by Transavia and one is by Iceland Air. The Transavia one is in their late 1990s colors and its registration is Papa, Ho 
Papa Hotel Alpha Hotel Papa, P H A H P. Scale one to four hundred, it's forty six ninety nine. Moving on down the line, we have an Iceland Air 757 200. Um, I don't need this. If it had the winglets, I probably would go for it. If it uh, had the new livery and had winglets, I probably would go for it. But uh, as of now, Iceland Air only operates 767s and 77 Maxes to Newark. I don't know if the 757s are ever going to come back. But yeah, I probably would get this if it had the winglets. But uh, yeah, registration is Tango Foxtrot Foxtrot India India. TFFII. Scale 1 to 4 engine is $46.99 in their late 1990s colors. Moving on down the line, we have a Air New Zealand uh, 787 10? 9. It's a 77-9. Now, of course, I don't need this, but it is in their new livery. Uh, registration is Zulu, Kilo, November, Zulu, Charlie, and K and ZC. It's scale 1 to 4 engine is $55.99. Moving on down the line, we have a DHL A330 200F. I don't need it, but I know this would be nice for European collectors. Registration is Delta Alpha Charlie Victor Golf DACVG. Scale 1 to 400 and it's 55.99. Moving on down the line, we have an Airbus A330 200 by Eurowings. Um, Eurowings stopped flying to Newark. I really wish they uh, still did or NG Models released this last year because up until around January of last year, they, they were flying to Newark. And if this model was out back then, I definitely would have copped it. But now I I, I have no need for it. But uh, yeah, registration is Delta Alpha X-Ray Golf Bravo D A X G B. It is scale 1 to 400 and the price is $55.99. Moving on down the line, we have an Airbus A330 Beluga. Uh, now, this is the obviously the aircraft that uh, transports massive Airbus parts uh, between their Hamburg, uh, Toulouse, and Nance facilities, I believe. Uh, but uh, yeah, registration is Foxtrot Golf X Ray Lima Juliet G F G X L J. It's going to 400, and the price is 63.59. Moving on to the last aircraft for this release, we have a Qatar Airways Qatar Qatar what did I just say Qatar Qatar Air Qatar Airways uh, AT fifty nine hundred in their normal livery. Made to is Alpha Seven Alpha Mike Echo. It is scale one to four hundred. The price is fifty seven ninety nine. Now I actually did spot this uh, aircraft coming into Dulles last year. I believe it was August of last year. Um, yeah, it was August of last year when I spotted this. Uh, coming into Dulles, but, uh, yeah, I'll link that video up above, I believe it was the first video on my channel, but, uh, yeah, uh, that being said, that's really all there is to this release, there's a lot of 1 to 400 models, there's a lot of variety of retro models, uh, considering the fact that we've had, that there is, uh, I believe, five retro models in this release, so this is a very retro release for you, for those of you who are retro collectors, uh, really the only thing that I'd probably get from this release probably would be the Qatar Airways A350-900, but just on a technicality because I spotted it. But uh, yeah, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn on, turn on that notification bell so you my videos, and comment down below what you guys think of this release and what you're getting from it. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.